Thank you for staying with us. It's our SME segment, and this one is quite an interesting one. I used to have this friend who always wanted to be uh, a cabin crew, uh, you know, uh, personality and all of that. And she, she did all she could, you know, for a number of years. She was not so much, because you know, most of the time they are tall. She was not so much of a tall person. So I wondered, how would she do this? But you see, after a while, so two years or so, we're not in touch. The next time I saw her, she actually became a cabin crew personality, and she you know, reach for our dreams and she reached there. So this one is something that you can learn from. We have the CEO of Airport Travels and uh, Tour Limited, a leading and award-winning travel company with a strong presence in Nigeria and overseas. Now we are here with the CEO, Dr. Oludayo Taiwo Gideon. It's great to have you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm, I like, I like, I like, uh, what, what, what are you, what, what are you channeling with the, with the, with the, with the dress now and the, the badge at your side? Okay. Um, it looks like um, a casual mix with military mm. outfits, sort mm. of. All right, wonderful. Yes. So let's talk about your business. What exactly do you do? Okay, um, thank you for having me once again. Um, I, it's a brand, it's a group of companies, and we have um, Aeroport is a brand that is known for travel-related services. Mm. And um, we have Aeroport Travels and Tours Limited. We have Aeroport College of Aviation and Travel Management. We have Aeroport Logistics. We have a report autos among other brands mm. that um, the um, company stands for. How did this all start for you? When did it start? Which was the first one? Okay, um, a report started with the travel and tourism. Okay. And um, personally, I have been somebody who loves to consult for other travel companies. So I trained for other aviation schools. So aside for the fact that I run a business of travel and tourism, I have other schools bring me on board to train their students and also um, I have other travel companies invite me down to train their staffs. So I got some sort of consultancy along the travel business that I run. So that's what led to the vision of having an established aviation school. Mm. And that's what bettered Aeroport College of Aviation and Travel Management today. So would you say that this airport was birthed uh, from a necessity or from passion or from the business angle? Okay, basically it was passion mm. and then it became a business. Have you always somebody? You've always somebody. You're somebody who was always like traveling. Do you do you go to different places? Like uh, yes, I'm passionate about going to places and most importantly impacting lives mm. through um, knowledge sharing and all of that. And all of that. Now, what is the most based on your business model? What is the most important thing for somebody who wants to start a business? Do you do you have to be passionate about something before you go into it, or uh, do you? Is it just about meeting a need? What what for you is the most important thing? from your own experience, starting a business and lasting the distance? Okay, um, the first part um, I would like to talk about is the passion. Okay, because the only way you can survive running a business in Nigeria as of now, aside from other um, things you might put into consideration, is basically the passion. Mm. And most importantly, um, you must be able to solve problems. I like that. You must be able to solve problems? Yes, problem is, uh, business is all about solving problems. So there are different needs out there. Some are um, questing for knowledge, some needed um, something to put in their belly, some needed employment opportunities, and that's one of the reasons why I started Airport College of Aviation and Travel Management, mm. because I understand the need for people to you know, get employment. And this is a kind of job that you cannot get except you are qualified and trained mm. to become um, irrespective of the sector you want to be in, the travel and tourism industry. Industry. Yeah, you must be well groomed and trained before you can perform in such a. Um, in such role. a. Wow, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Now, with uh, with all that has happened, let's talk about the. You, you made mention that, of course, solving a problem, but you definitely will go there. It's it's a challenging business environment. Yes, it is in yeah. Nigeria, and you know, uh, what, when did you when did you become profitable as a company, or are you profitable as a company? Yeah, we are. Yeah. When yeah. did when did that happen? Yeah, that happened about um, a year after. A year after you started the yeah. business. What are the, what, what are the most striking challenges that you faced getting into profitability and you know making profits in this particular industry? Considering also the effect of COVID nineteen on the travel industry, mm. you know how has it how, how how have you been able to what kind of challenges and how have you been able to overcome them? Um, there are so many challenges. We start to talk about them, but um, the most important part is the policy making. Um, you know, um, policies have not been favorable in terms of having people to be well regulated because we have so much um, mushroom travel agencies. Mm. But all thanks to so many associations and parastatals that have helped um, curb all of these acts 
which is the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, which is the umbrella body for all um, aviation and travel related activities in Nigeria, mm. and which boils down to National Association of Nigerian Travel Agencies, where I belong and I am an executive member of the association. So you're able to manage people who want to really venture into travels because many people overnight became travel agencies and of which they are not trained and they do not even have the rudiments of um, setting up a travel business. Mm. So that aside, um, there have been other challenges like financing and stuff like that. Mm. But I'll be it. Um, over time, we're able to skate through it because one, like I said earlier, we are dedicated and you know, consistency is also very key for you to be a successful entrepreneur in Nigeria. How did you, how did you overcome the, the COVID period when everybody, how was it like for you? Okay. For, and for your business? For my business, um, like I said earlier, um, we have um, a brand. Okay. And it's not only limited to just travel and tourism. Okay. Now, during COVID-19, that was what led to the establishment of airport express logistics. So, okay. I so, diversified. Oh, okay. So, it was the, the lockdown made you even... So, so that's... It, it's, it's more or less like the challenge is also... Uh, 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 the opportunity, opportunity yeah. for you. Exactly. So, because of that, you now went into logistics. Exactly. And how... Because... I know that Amazon as a company who are basically doing logistics, that, that, uh, the, the, the lockdown, they became a much more profitable Retable, company. Yeah. They became richer. Logistics had to move that period. And you also, you know, ventured into, logistics. Ventured into it. How, how did yeah. you do that? How okay, did it happen? Uh, uh, there was a total lockdown, but um, essential commodities are allowed to be transported. Okay? And um, we do not really need to focus so much on travel then because when travel is restricted, um, it is quite expensive because evacuating flights are shattered. Mm. And so people are not allowed to bring, um, I mean, airlines are not allowed to fly. So except for those who are coming back to their resident countries. Mm. Okay. So having said that, we then look at, okay, since essential commodities are allowed to be transported, then we need to venture into logistics. And like I said, that was what bettered Airport Express logistics. How important is adaptability? Because what you've shown is the, the you know, that, that adaptability, uh, you, you were able to adapt in spite of challenges. How important is this for somebody who wants to go into any kind of business? How important is this particular character? Um, I, I usually uh, um, emphasize on the fact that um, anyone who wants to um, run any business must be versatile. And most importantly, it must, it must be something you have a knowledge of. Mm. Okay, because you cannot enjoy into any business for the fact of uh, making profit or probably wanting to do anything um, excessively out of it. But because you understand, okay, there's a market, and then you should understand the fact that once there's a market, there are needs. Mm. And then you understand how to penetrate. Mm. Because I have been experienced over years, over the years, and I understand where and when to, um, you know, hit the nail on the head. Mm. So I took chances and opportunities, and I took advantage of them, and then I was able to break even. Wonderful. You really, as a, uh, a consummate business professional, and uh, uh, I've been able to glean quite a lot. I hope people out there have been able to glean. Moving forward, where, do you, where, where, is, where are you taking airports to? The next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Is this something that will leave you? What is the plan for airports? <sighs> the plan is so huge and so big, mm. even beyond myself. Mm. But the fact is, um, I, I'm, I'm glad, first with airport travels, we've been able to solve so many travel problems. And um, with Airports College, we've been able to groom a lot of people. Airports College started about seven years ago. Okay. We had our sixth convocation on, in December 2022. Okay. And we have, today, we have recorded no less than 2,000 travel professionals that has been groomed as a result of the aviation school. Mm. And now we're looking at the next five years. I think um, airport should be an household name. Um, God willing, we should have an eye line. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> That's a big the, the next five years, us. next yeah. 50 years. 50 years, I, I, we should have a, a global office. 100 years, would this outlive you? I mean, it shouldn't. Because, um, like I said, I've raised so many people mm. who are now doing so well for themselves in the aviation. So even industry. if you are not there, would Aeroport, can, it, can this business say, if the founder, you know, gets to 100 years, you know, moves on and all of that, can this outlive you? Would, uh, can other people, are you, are you setting up a business that is generational? Let me put, use that word. Yes, definitely going to be generational, generational because, firstly, for me, uh, my children, mm. I've already started catching them while they're young. <laughs> and I've also impacted mm. so many people who could take up even after me. Mm. So I don't see airport dying. Okay. It's going to live forever. Wonderful. I, I like that. that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I hope people out there were able to glean some things. You've, you've given us some very important nuggets uh, when it comes to business and something that people can use in any kind of business, not just only the travel 
and uh, of course training business. Well done. Right, so we have something for you. We have breakfast for you. Oh, thank I hope you. Hope you are not fasting. Are you fasting? No, I'm not. You're not fasting. <laughs> Why? You know, <laughs> I know. You know this general. A lot of people are fasting this period, trying to get set for the year. Yeah. But yeah, we do have something for you in the kitchen, and uh, yeah, we have. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let's go. Welcome yeah. to the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, today's chef is Chef Rafi B, <laughs> and uh, you're in that? luck because today's breakfast is a mouthful. Fried rice <laughs> with roasted chicken yes, and sir. coleslaw. We made this yeah. from the scratch here in the studio. So we'd like you to dig in and give us your feedback All on right. the, the dish. Okay? Right. Have a taste. So, so when you appetit. say roasted, uh, you use the air fryer to roast. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It was roasted in the air fryer. Oh. Yeah. 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 That's what we used yeah. here. <laughs> 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 it's so easy to tell products of body and house. You guys yeah. have natural cooler in your mouth. Yeah. I was wondering how it was going to take that. I'm like, ah, body and house student. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. What about uh, the chicken? Dig in. Let's uh, get let's your Let's your knife. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that makes it easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh Ooh, my gosh. I the like crunch. the crunch. Wow. It's, so, it's so crispy. That's what you get with air fried chicken. Yes. yes. Lovely, yes. lovely, lovely. Really nice. Okay. Okay. So we're just waiting for our guests to give us feedback on that. Yeah. What do you think? The yeah. smile is enough. <laughs> it says delicious. I don't. <laughs> delicious. Thank you. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been a Thank wonderful so time much. on the show. It has. It's Monday. We have a whole weekend store for you. Yes, we will be back tomorrow. Seven a.m. People. Right early. Bye. Bye.